I'm going to shut up and we are going to watch this. Seeing three engines. There's our flip. There's a buoy. There's a splashdown. Absolutely incredible. Congratulations to the SpaceX team. Truly inspiring stuff. For those who don't know, that was Starship simulating a propulsive landing on Earth over the ocean just in case the shit hit the fan and absolutely nailed it. The whole idea here, can Starship, after doing a belly flop from space, orient itself, slow down with the engines coming back on and gently touch down, standing upright, just like you would do on land. And guess what? It was a perfect landing. Managed to slow to a complete stop, completely vertically, hover for a second, and then gently roll over and go splat. Incredible stuff. An amazing feat of engineering, super inspiring. And obviously has absolutely nothing at all to do with Tesla or autonomy because it's not like engineering and doing things that no one else can do translates at all when the leader seems to have a track record over multiple decades of leading teams to do the seemingly impossible in terms of engineering. So I don't even know why I started a video about Tesla today with that. Trolling aside, absolutely inspiring stuff. You guys thought I gave a fuck about Tesla. You have no idea. SpaceX is where it's really at. And moving on to entirely unrelated matters that once again, there's absolutely no translation or overlap or dots joining these two totally separate projects. We're now going to talk about the completely unrelated Tesla FSD autonomy, a massive expansion. And I mean massive in Austin, Texas. That's right. We've launched. And now this is, unless I'm losing track, the third expansion in what, just over two months since launching. Rest in peace, the Tesla dig. And Nick posted this, a history of Tesla's robotaxi service area in Austin, Texas to scale. June 22nd, we started here. Next minute, July 14th, less than a month later, some idiot on the internet suggested maybe Tesla should do the funniest thing ever with the first expansion in Austin, and they did. Service area looked like a dick. Internet had a meltdown, amazing free publicity for Tesla. Everyone with a sense of humor thought this was hilarious. Then another massive expansion, August 3rd. And then the hammer blow of hammer blows today, keeping it all in scale, I'm not going to zoom out for a moment, just to see, right? We can fit almost the first three service areas on a single screen here. And then the absolute monstrous expansion on August 26th. Holy shit. Now in isolation, I mean, if you have no context, nothing to compare to, I mean, looks like things are moving very fast, but we do have something to compare to. Waymo, the supposed leader on screen now. Blue is the current Waymo service area, which by the way, expanded massively after Tesla expanded their geofence multiple times and embarrassed Waymo. Tesla, new service area in gray, engulfing this, roughly double the size of the now expanded Waymo service area in Austin. Phenomenal rate of progress. I mean, I've been telling you guys for years, this is exactly what would happen. Rapid scale, rapid expansion, and Tesla taking the lion's share of the profits when it comes to autonomy. They can scale far faster than a company like Waymo because they've developed entirely different software and technology. Generalized solution versus a very brittle, fragile, and cumbersome approach with Waymo, LiDAR, pre-mapping, and HD. We've been over the whole spiel. Sorry for the new viewers. I'll explain another time. I'll just watch one of my last four trillion videos. I say the same shit every day. This is a very big deal. Surely at this point in time, you have to be able to join the dots. But maybe you're more of a chart person. I saw this from Tesla Investor. I mean, does this maybe provide a little bit of an insight. What we're looking at on screen now, going back to January 2019, so not the entire time Waymo's been operating, but a fair chunk of it. And we're looking at Waymo's service area in square miles. This is in the United States in total, not just Austin, versus Tesla Robotaxi. As you can see, Waymo making good progress, increasing somewhat exponentially, actually. And then out of nowhere, Tesla has appeared and now has a larger service area for their autonomous vehicles. In a few months, then Waymo grew to over a number of years. I mean, this is stunning. Just let this sink in. Do you understand? What better illustration than what we're seeing on screen now? At this point in time, unless you're severely coping, you have to go, holy fuck, this is insane. They are scaling unbelievably fast relative to Waymo. It's almost like the guy on the internet who kept saying the same thing for the last half a decade or more was right when he said they'd scale rapidly and people would be surprised, except him. Here we are. Do you understand? Seriously, take the time, let this sink in. Just look, use your brain. Where is this headed? Where this is headed is massive scale for Tesla. Waymo in big trouble. Never mind the cost advantage. Just look at this thing. The official Tesla Robotaxi account on X reposting the service area expansions with the caption, expanding Austin service area fast. Now, I have to address the skeptics and the DMFs and the bears and the haters. Also, why are you watching me? Oh, that's right. Confused tomorrow. Anyway, here's the point. 
there will be skeptics. And rather than acknowledging the holy fuck data we have here, again, look on screen now, holy fuck, instead of going, holy fuck, that's impressive, holy fuck, they're going to go, well, Tesla still has an employee sitting in the passenger seat in Austin, so it doesn't count as autonomy yet, even though they're sitting in the passenger seat, not actually driving the vehicle. So I'm going to ignore this because my brain is incapable of imagining what would happen when the passenger in the passenger seat who's not driving the vehicle in Austin is removed once Tesla's confident because there's been no safety critical incident so far and obviously that's coming soon. I'm just going to ignore this because that makes me sleep well at night. And also in, in San Francisco and, and California, they actually have somebody in the driver's seat who actually isn't doing anything, but I'm going to ignore the fact that they're not actually doing anything because they're sitting behind the wheel, therefore it doesn't count as a robo-taxi. So I'm going to ignore this because I'm a moron. Now, to be fair, Tesla still at a relatively small scale in terms of both service areas in square miles and number of vehicles on roads. And obviously, over time, they do need to remove Tesla employees from the passenger seats or sitting behind the wheel in California doing nothing. Otherwise, it's not a scalable business, although technically it's probably still outcompete companies like Uber, Lyft, Waymo, blah, blah, blah. But at this point in time, unless you are severely retarded, it's not that difficult to join the dots and either take a ride in one of these Tesla Robo taxis or alternatively watch the many, 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 many dozens, if not hundreds of full rides being posted online by people and watch what the software is doing and notice intervention free drives on almost every single occasion. That is the clue that Tesla's very close. Never mind the clue that Tesla's massively and repeatedly expanding, obviously another very strong signal that they're confident that they're almost there. At this point, only intentional, willing, Ignorance would cause somebody to not see what's happening here. Waymo's cooked. Tesla scaling massively. The haters and the copers, as I said earlier. Oh, there's still somebody in the passenger seat in Austin, even though they're not doing anything. And in California, they're behind the wheel doing nothing. Doesn't count yet. What are they going to say when the supervisor in Texas in Austin is no longer required in the passenger seat? And then the person behind the wheel in California is no longer there. What, what do they say then? Oh, well, well, they're not in every single city on earth yet. So uh, the Tesla balls were wrong. They're not going to scale, is it? And I just have one final question regarding the analysts covering Tesla. Where the fuck are the notes? There's been one. More than two months now. This one note. Oh, geez. Tesla Robotex is actually really good. Better than we expected and scaling fast and seem to have a massive cost advantage. There's been one note. What are these doofuses doing? You would think, I mean, I've been saying this now for a couple of months since this launch. You'd think they have enough data now to go, holy fuck. But apparently not. Apparently the only people saying holy fuck are Tesla fanboys who can't see clearly. In conclusion... Put this in your spreadsheet and smoke it. Want more content? Early access? Bunch of perks? Click the links in the pinned comment. AG1 is awesome. I've been taking it daily now for more than three years. It's a great way to fill in nutritional gaps. It's packed full of vitamins, minerals, and whole food source nutrients. Plus, has prebiotics, probiotics, and adaptogens to improve gut health, regularity, and help your body handle stress. I'm always looking for an edge to help me feel and perform my best, which is why I haven't missed a day of AG1 for more than three years. Just try it and see how you feel. Click the link in the pinned comment or head to drinkag1.com slash SMR and get yourself a free one-year supply of vitamin D3 plus K2 and five travel packs.